There are many who say western red cedar isn't structural. That's really a misnomer. Um, the reason that western red cedar historically has been used in the applications that it's used for is because of its natural durability and stability. So it's a great wood species to use outside. And again, because it's an incidental species in the coastal forest, it was really considered a weed 100 years ago. And the reason it was considered a weed was because it wasn't structurally as strong as the other species that it grows with in the coastal forest. Douglas fir and hemlock are much structurally stronger than western red cedar. It doesn't mean it can't be used structurally, it just doesn't have as high a load-bearing capacity as those other wood species. The one thing that's unique about western red cedar is that it's a naturally durable wood species. It contains ingrown preservatives in its heartwood, naturally occurring, that resist rot, decay, and insect attack. And you don't have to pressure treat western red cedar with chemicals to get it to last a long time outside. Consequently, because of these natural ingrown properties, western red cedar is prized for use in siding, decking, trim, fascia, outdoor structures are very, very popular in a lot of marketplaces. It is also being used extensively in paneling. It's used in soffits. It's a, an extremely stable wood species. It's another really great feature and benefit of western red cedar. It's a non-resinous wood species, which means it accepts a wide range of finishes. No pitcher resin in western red cedar. But what really drives the decision-making process to using it, other than its reputation, mostly is what it looks like, because it's arguably one of the most beautiful wood, softwood species, anyway, available in North America. <laughs>